As a quick follow on to my brake control module repair, uh, I figured I'd uh, make another quick one, just a, a tip in case this ever happens to you. So I fired the car up and uh, immediately got a C1232 code, which was telling me that the front left wheel sensor uh, had an issue. Uh, I think it said that it was, uh, that it was going to ground. And so um, immediately I thought, since I just sent that thing off, maybe they messed something up uh, because in my mind, that's what had changed. But figured I was gonna have to go ahead and troubleshoot and document it. So I went ahead and I disconnected uh, the connectors here and hooked up my multimeter so I could check the actual hub itself and start to try to troubleshoot my way back to see what happened. Um, as it turns out, I was actually the, the source of the problem. Uh, when I was replacing my rotors, you can see they're brand new here and I had to pull the caliper off to do that, I managed to pinch the dongle that go that connects from the hub uh, back here to the cradle. And, uh, and, and that was actually the source of it, but I didn't find that right away. So in the source of troubleshooting, I had to look up the specs on this sensor so that I could figure out what was going on. So that's what I wanted to grab. So in this case, I've already gone ahead and replaced this dongle. Um, but I also wanted to confirm that this was okay because sometimes the connectors get a little bit brittle here for movement uh, on, on either end. And so I just wanted to verify it anyway. So I still have it hooked up. I wanted to give you a look at what I was checking out. So with the multimeter connected, just with some alligator clips into the connector there, the first thing I checked was the resistance. And so the, uh, the spec here, I believe, was something around 1,000 uh, ohms, which is basically what we've got here, uh, 1.065K. Uh, and there's a range. Um, I think it was like 1,040 on up-ish. Um, uh, but basically, there's uh, some variation allowed in this. And what I was looking for was to see if I either had continuity, so something close to no resistance, or if I had infinite resistance. And I didn't have that. Everything was looking good. So then the second thing I wanted to check was voltage. So uh, these are voltage generating sensors in the hubs. Uh, so uh, when they spin, they actually generate voltage and that's how we know how fast we're going, right? So uh, as I reach up here and I spin the hub, then I should be able to look down and see some voltage change on the multimeter. So sitting still right now, and then you can see I spin it and I've got voltage change. So that's how I knew that uh, the hub sensor itself was good. So then just backing my way through, looking at resistance, I uh, come back in and start to jiggle, um, jiggle each of the ends to make sure that that doesn't move and it's just sitting dead steady. And come up here and grab the other end and jiggle it and it's still sitting dead steady. So anyway, that's it. Uh, just a quick tip uh, if you're ever at the track trying to troubleshoot this stuff. Um, I always carry a multimeter in my toolbox, which helps a ton. Um, but of course, another spare that's not a bad idea to carry is is uh, just this this pigtail that connects from the cradle over to the um, uh, over to the hub here because they do fail. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw an extra one of those in my spares kit, um, and uh, and probably have to reference this later on if I ever have a ABS issue at one end.